associated with horse racing in western Pennsylvania than the man who lives on this farm just a few miles from the track. It's Delvin Miller, and you can't think of the meadows without thinking of Delvin and of Adios, the great casing stallion who bought to stand at his farm. His uh, dam was a world champion, his great grand dam was a world champion, and there was some breeding in the background there I liked real well. It not only made the farm, it made Meadowlands, Pennsylvania, and it made the racetrack, really. Adios has been gone for 20 years now, but Delvin Miller still stands good stallions. This is Arn Don. He is especially welcome because he is a fast and handsome trotter. I do like the trotter. They're self, you, they, you have to balance them. You have to make a trotter. You can just put hobbles on a picture and hit them on the butt and go on with them. But trotters are, and they're, they're like a good golfer. You know, you've got a good swinger. Baseball pitchers are... Uh, can uh, throw it good and uh, trotter that way. They've got to have a, you don't see a bad gator trotter winning big races. They're well balanced and carry their heads right, right. And they're a little prouder looking even to me than a pacer, although any pacer that's winning is, you know, they're proud looking. Delvin remembers his good trotters most fondly. Delmonica Hanover was a special favorite of his. Harness racing has changed over the years, but he thinks not entirely for the better. I don't think it's quite the sport it was when I started out in it. You know, it's more of a business now. It was always a business, but it's more of a business now. You know, we used to go to, like, we'd go to the, the Grand Circuit at Springfield and Duke Coin, Sedalia, Missouri, Milwaukee. We'd all stay there the whole week. You know, you were chummy and friendly, and the owners would go out there and say, now it's all, can you set that race up quicker so I'd fly back and race this horse and that? I think it's, it's, uh, it's really a business now. Delvin is 72 years old now, but he still trains and intends to return to driving once he recovers from back surgery he underwent this year. I, I still, uh, I like to drive home because I, uh, that's the only thrill I get of maybe something I've bred or something and drive her own. I still like it and I've, I still feel I can compete with him. When I feel I can, if I get to shake it, I said that'll be my last time in driving. I tell you, every sport could use a Delvin Miller. He's one of the greatest men in any sport. He is a sports worshiper, a hero worshiper of other people, and doesn't realize what a hero he is. He's done everything in this sport. He's been a trainer, been a driver. He founded this racetrack, the Meadows, of course. Been a breeder, a great breeder. He was responsible for the career of Adios. Superman and a super gentleman.